Hi Ben Bray, it's Just Fan TV, back with another video and last night Rangers were in Europa League action at home to progress in era corner where it finished Rangers 2, progress in era corner now, goals from Aribo and Ojo and Rangers start 11 for that game was McGregor Nets, back four of Tavener, Goldson, Edmondson, Hald in defence, midfield three of Jack, Davis and Aribo, up front Ojo, Morelos in our field and a very strange game in on one hand that Rangers looked to be very good, looked to be you know could have scored probably five or six on the other hand you'd sometimes that passes were going a bit sloppy, they weren't having to go back and Nethercon seemed in some ways that the defence or defending was kind of what they wanted. Plus you've also got the chances as well that they had that certain that thanks to Edmondson and McGregor especially kept them conceding. Uh but anyway on the twentieth Rangers looked to go uh, started well. Uh, had a few chances and in the 20th minute, Scott Arfield on the left side of the box passes the ball across to Rebo, who kind of comes forward and hits a shot past the keeper's right side to make it 1 0. And I think the, from what it looked, near the corner in the first half special was Paul defend, get to 0 0 at half time, and possibly maybe. Uh, try and get a goal or just maybe concede one and then that would be it to take uh, to Luxembourg in the second leg but nine minutes into the second half Rangers get a corner ball gets p played to Ojo on the left takes a touch, looks up and hits a fantastic low curling shot pass the near the corn keeper to make it 2 0. And Rangers, yeah, like I say, ha uh, had some chances as well. Arfield uh, being flagged for offside, same as Morelos in the first half. Uh, Jack and Arfield in the second half, apparently offside as well. And after the Ojo goal, a couple of changes Rangers made. The first one was Scott Arfield in the 64th minute, went off for. Jordan Jones and Jordan, I, I think it, I think the tactic that Jared wanted was get Jones the ball and they'll run, just let him run. And six minutes after coming on, Jones r drives into the box, gets taken out, ref gives a penalty, and Tavener takes the ball, uh, near the corner keeper uh, goes from left to right on the line and Tav hits the shot and hits uh, the keeper's left post and comes out and yeah it just seemed to really be one of those nights where Rangers did well and won but, but luck wasn't on the side but five minutes later Morales went off for Jermaine Defoe and from what I know there would have been a lot of, a few people in the crowd saying Morales didn't do much but it did seem that the kind of the balls that he's used to he wasn't getting or he was having to come out to the wing to help out with the play whether it was from Davis or Jack or Aribo to let someone move in to try and get a shot but I think also when you watched a couple of corners that Nethercon had and Morales was basically been told to stay up they had two defenders in Nethercon watching him so it did seem like he was man marked as well and it just didn't seem to be his night last night and Six minutes after Defoe came on, Greg Stewart came on for Ojo, and like I say, 
chance there were chances unfortunately Rangers either were flagged for offside or the nether corn keeper was saving them I think even though Edmondson got man of the match for obviously the home team I think or hand and heart truthfully that the nether corn keeper was probably the best player I think if it wasn't for him like I said you know nether corn would probably lost five maybe six now and plus with Edmondson and McGregor having or being still aware of Nedicorn's you know, few chances uh, going forward, whether it was McGregor blocking uh, a shot or blocking a shot to then put it out for corner or Edmondson clearing, it could have been basically deja vu from two years ago with it being possibly 2-1, but... Overall, Rangers did what needed, got the win, and yeah, we'll see what happens in six days uh, when Nethercon are at home and in Luxembourg, and yeah, we'll see who then goes on to the next round. But big thanks to everyone that's been watching and supporting the channel. Uh, just remember, uh, you can support the channel by hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, it just helps the channel grow and hopefully we can uh, get some more subscribers and hopefully keep going with the channel. And yeah, I will see you on Sunday, uh, probably before or after the Rangers friendly uh, to Derby. And yeah, big thanks again and I'll see you next video. Alright guys, I'm out.